So, so my wife just did the weirdest thing. Do tell. When I went in to see her, mm. I gave her a kiss from watching the movie. Mm. She asked, how was it? And didn't ask, how much did it make at the box office? That's so weird. I might have to divorce her. Yeah, really? Because doesn't she Who understand doesn't the values? about the box office values? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can also Instagram, Instagram Twitter, and Twitter, watch the content. Take us on Patreon, follow us on Twitch account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Oh, weird glass. Looks all warped and wobbly right there. That's pretty cool. Drink? Yeah, they're good. Oh, they're, they're spun. Looks, I know. They're kind of spunny spun. I like it. They're kind of spunny spun spun. Spunny spin splank. Uh, so, uh, obviously, we're doing a movie review, everybody. <laughs> As you've seen, you already know what it you is. You know. Uh, and we don't need to be redundant. <clears throat> It's of the uh, new film that just came out, Jaish by Jodar. Mm-hmm. And that's how you'd pronounce that, right? I would. Uh, it just came out, obviously, in theaters, and it's directed by... Uh, forgive mispronunciation. Uh, Divyang Thanker. And it looks like he did some of the writing along with Ankur... Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Yes. Uh, produced by Manish Sharma uh, and starring... Ranveer Singh and um, uh, Bowman Arani. Uh, 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 Bo- Is that how you say his name? Yes, Bowman, Bowman Arani. And then, and then uh, Shalini Pandey. Shalini Pandey. And then... As Rad- Mudra. Yeah, and, so, and there's a few other people, but obviously the this is a Ranveer Singh film. That's her, right? That's his... Yes. The, the love interest. Okay, yep. I just wanted to Mudra check. Mudra was her character name. But uh, yeah, so it just came out in theater, so this would be a non-spoiler review with maybe some spoils at the end if we'd like to get into some, some Correct. spoilers. Correct, we would let you know. New. We would warn you. Because uh, unlike other reviewers, we don't give away what's in the film yeah, in the review. It's we know so strange. Our job is... To give an opinion, not tell the story. That's the that's the job of the film movie critics. Hold on, that's a hot take. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, you, you're reading the review and it just goes it's like scene by scene. The movie begins where he walks into the bar and then blah blah blah. I know if we see the film, we'll and get then all in the that. second act when they die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways, but obviously we saw the trailer for this film, obviously right when it came and out. And the teaser. And the teaser. Yeah. Uh, and it looked like a a fun family kind of quirky comedy. Maybe a comedy with heart and a, and, 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 and a, message. And a message for a takeaway and a message. was our, was our and expectation. So that's what I was expecting. Yeah. And I don't know what you thought, Rick. I thought it delivered. <laughs> I gave it a very, very solid four out of five stars. Yeah. Really uh, solid four out of five stars. And, and, and w- once again, what we're talking, it's, I'm not saying this is going to win the awards. And it's very similar to actually how we talked about Mimi, I feel. Yep. Uh, and Badai Do. And Badai Do. Yeah. Uh, even though uh, those are some, those are, even though there's films that I think are obviously overall better artistically and stuff like that, and that I was like, oh, yeah, this should get the blank award, right? These types of films are going to be your favorites. Just because you can go into them and you can just watch them and enjoy the heck out of them. Yep. Uh, and I know there's a lot of stuff where you're like, oh, no one got to see the box office. You're all going to see OT. That's your fucking loss. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just just going to tell you right now. Yeah. Just go enjoy this film. Exactly. It's a fun, if you like, oh, I liked Mimi. I liked the trailer. I liked what it was giving me in the trailer. You're gonna like they the deliver film. what they. In fact, it exceeded my expectations yeah. than than what I was going into, uh, thinking about it. And and I have nothing but good things to say about it. I there, think there, there's stuff in it that I would just being a pessimist. <laughs> I would just prefer. <laughs> sure. I'm not gonna get into that right here. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, we'll get into that in spoils. But I it. The, the world it set up, it was totally believe. It was like it was like obviously this is what you're going for. This yes. this style of message. Yes, it's, it it it's gonna make you laugh. It's it's gonna be. I really thought the pacing was wonderful. It's just right under two hour film. Yep, 
And I just thought it really went from moment to moment with believability, with really nice pacing and the dialogue and the editing and the scoring. I thought everybody's performance was spot on, delivered exactly what casting and direction probably wanted for the story when they were reading it off the page. Yeah. And I think it's a film that not only people would have a good time seeing, but should see. Because yeah. we'll get into, in some of the more spoiler sections, some of the more uh, salient points of talking about story and, and other things, but all in all, uh, please go see it. Please yeah. go see it because there's this trend going on right now in the box office where only, not in the international box office, we're noticing the trend in Indian box office where only the big blockbusters are being seen. And that's awful because the other films should be seen too when it's a good movie and this is a really good movie. You can't just write off a film as like, oh, that should be OTT. No. Like, every movie's gonna be better in a theater, guys. Everyone. Like, and also, don't complain about films and their lack of originality when you don't go see the ones that do give you that lack of originality. The only thing you need to consider when you're thinking about the box office It's just so frustrating. is, number one, are the great and good movies that ought to be seen being seen because the box office simply is a representation of the eyeballs and bodies and seats. Not the reputation of a good film. Exactly. And then the second thing is, yay, because the more money you give to a film, the producers are going to make more movies like it. So if you don't like what you're seeing in the movie theaters, stop giving them your money and give movies like this your attention and your time and yeah. your money because it's worth it. Yeah, and I, I mean, I would say the exact same thing if we we had seen um, Mimi in theaters, which yep. I'm sure wouldn't do well in theaters. Right. Um, but it's like, oh yeah, you're saying that's a bad film because it made what? Exactly. I don't know the currency, obviously, and how what the, that equates to, but it's like, Sorry, I'm going to go with my high horse there. Uh, <laughs> it's just so frustrating. It <laughs> that really aspect. is. But, yeah, I thought everybody in this did so, so well, especially because a lot of them weren't, like, established people mm -hmm. outside of Renvir and, and Bowman Arani, right? Right. Uh, I mean, and I think she is. Ratina, she, I think we've seen her before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was the mom at Kapoor. And yes, and, of course. I think she's been around a while. Yeah. But, like, everybody else, like, I don't think Sha, say her name? Shalini Pandey. I don't think she's been around that long, and I thought she did really, really well. I loved her in this role. I thought, like, she showed so much emotion yep. and believability, yep. and I believed, like... I cared about her. Yeah, I cared about her character and their relationship, yep. and, like, I and I, I don't know, like, where she is in terms of the stardom in, in India, but from looking at it, she doesn't do that many films, and at least ones that are huge. Yeah, and it speaks volumes when you can hold your own opposite someone like a Runveer. Yeah. And she does more than just hold her own. She yeah. compliments him yeah. in the film. And I also thought the young lady, I'd love to pull up her name, is who, it, who she... Is her, it her? Is it her right here? Her, uh, um, yes. Is that her? I think so. Pretty? Um, was, I don't think so. I think that's the other like friend. I'm. I mean the daughter. Oh, the little little the, girl. the young oh, yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not giving her credit here. She. Well, it, I, it might be. I, he. I, is I it wish. Shadhi? Maybe. Yes, that is the character name. Gia. Gia Vadia. Played a character that could easily have been annoying. Easily have been someone you're like, okay, what is this? Because yeah. because the character has a lot of chutzpah. Yeah. And she did not come across that way. I really liked her character. Yeah, so and that, did I. that required good casting in that role. Yeah. And she was and very well. Her cast. dynamic and and Renvier. Come on, guys. <laughs> he's just he's so good and, and so different. If you've been around long enough, you should know by now we don't say things to please people ever. We're not looking to please fans. We're not looking to please artists. If you saw our review of anything where we didn't like it, we care about the art form more than we care about the artists because the art form will always be here. The artists will come and go. And it's the contributions they make to the art form that matter. And he just continues to show he can pretty much do anything he's given. Honestly, I think 
even though obviously this film is not one that's going to be like I think mentioned in awards right time right I think this is maybe one of his stronger performances I agree with you just because like one it's different and unique right yep and obviously once again we can't judge We're, the accent stuff like right that. that's but I we assume he nails it yeah. because whenever people talk about his accents in other films they say he nails so it so obviously if you didn't you guys can let us know but obviously to uh, us laymans it sounded good right, right. but. Man, his versatility, I feel like, doesn't get talked about enough. I agree. And, like, because you could put all of his characters in one room. Yeah, I and agree. And they'd be so... Most of them, obviously the ones we've seen, right? Yep. Like, they'd be, like, so different people in a room. Yes. Like, Nawaz, you'd be scared, right? Because a bunch of them are just scary Right, people. there's some of them are <laughs> terrifying. Ter I mean, Pankaj obviously has that, and, and Raj Kumar has that versatility as right. well, right? But, like, Ranveer, I feel like he goes out of his way to make these characters... So very different. Yes. Um, and believable at the same time. Yeah. He doesn't do things that are just tricks and hokey things. He he brought but, a ton of emotion to this. He brought so much to this. And it's not giving anything away because you see this in both the teaser and the trailer. Yeah. That this character is like in the teaser. He's supposed to be a hero that isn't a hero. Yeah. He's supposed to be this kind of very mild mannered, meek doesn't want to have confrontation, gets really stressed out about things pretty easily. And for somebody who has portrayed characters like with the confidence in Ramlila or in Bajiramastani or, or Padmavat and the place where he goes to with Gully Boy's arc, yeah. um, we could just go down the list of different characters he's played. This is unlike other characters he's played. And he plays it in such a way that he's not the big word is indicating. Mm -hmm. He's not showing you those characteristics. He's really embodying the characteristics. I don't think he's doing something to make you think he's being shy and scared. He's really embodying the motivations of why is my character scared? And he's done all of the backstory, all of the work, all of the physicality. By the way, bravo to wardrobe. Mm. In making sure that his strength was minimized yeah. because he's got an incredible physique yeah. that doesn't work for this guy. Mm -hmm. And wardrobe did a great, yeah. as did he carrying his physicality. Yeah, because if he looked like he did in Ram Leela in this, yeah, no, the no. character wouldn't work. It doesn't work. Because he, he looks like he can kick everybody's ass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in, you see it in the trailer and the teaser that like they're seen in the car. And we heard it first and then we saw it in the teaser. And you're like, that's going to be a really gonna be good, good scene. scene. And, it and it sure was. It is. Yep. It, but, but not just him, though. No, the like whole all of them. Scene, all three Both of them. Three, all three of those actors brought it uh, and brought the emotion and believability. And you really like, like care for these people. And it, yeah. it never gets incredibly deep. And that's not the style of film. It's it not was, meant to. No, and, but it does get deep. I'm not saying it doesn't get deep, but it doesn't get like, they're not trying to make you cry. No. They're not. This is. This is a full-fledged family film. Even though sometimes I kind of wish they would have gone like sure. deeper and deeper and deeper. That's just my personal preferences <laughs> again. But yeah, those scenes were fantastic. Yeah, He's standing up to Bowman and Ronnie. Yeah, was another who was one. another one who just is just so good. Even though I, I'm very critical of Bowman and Ronnie in, in, in uh, three, three idiots. idiots. I thought he was. I thought he was good. In I this. loved him. Uh, <laughs> he has such a. A presence he, and his voice is so deep. It's it's not as deep as Amresh, no. but it's, it's it's at least similar in mm -hmm. terms of how deep and and menacing. Yeah, and he's got a big physical presence, so yeah. it's really it works opposite Ranveer because he makes Ranveer seem smaller, and the da the dad needs to have yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of presence. And the the comedy they brought, we la <laughs> we we were the only <laughs> we ones in the, in the theater. theater. Uh, but once again. This has nothing to do with box office. That's almost every film outside of like RRR. And because we go on a weekday matinee and yeah. most people aren't able to access and a film at that time of day. Indian film. So right. like we went at noon, essentially. Right. And so it's not like, oh, the, the theater's empty. It's always empty. Yeah. Almost we, every film. If we ever have people and there's like <laughs> four, maybe, maybe four. <laughs> outside of RRR. Yeah. No, exactly. Like the, and KGF obviously had The first some time as well. we saw Gully Boy, the very first time we saw Gully Boy, there wasn't anybody think, in there. Yeah, we went yeah. back. I went back again with the kids to like a Friday night show and then it was full yeah but anyway you were but saying yeah the uh it, we laughed out loud multiple, multiple times uh because throughout the film what they did obviously this is i think supposed to be a stuff that's based on kind of real stuff that goes on in, in especially rural parts of india right yeah but it's uh, um i don't want to say hyper stylized but like um over, it's over accentuated. Over accentuated. Yeah. Right? Uh, which is why some parts like the end, which kind of got a little like 
over the top a little bit at the end. I was like, okay. It's kind of the it's world. where you're going in that world. It's it's the world that they built because yeah. obviously you saw it in the cheese. They banned soap. Yeah, <laughs> and right. so expect the ridiculous. That. Expect yeah. some of the ridiculous without but it it's being funny. yeah very funny because the ridiculousness doesn't go overboard and go like hey aren't we being ridiculous? Yeah. It, it is ridiculous and then just lets it stay there yeah. with a level of realism yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, it yeah. even funnier. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, as opposed to Mimi, which stayed more realistic most of the time. Yeah. Uh, this was, I think, and I think that's because they were not playing a real village. They were playing, like, a yeah. kind of a funnier version of these. Because re- it's like they poke fun at, like, superstitions, hilarious, hilarious, bunch of hilarious stuff. What they like, they were, <laughs> I don't want to get Why beliefs? come about how oftentimes it's just because one guy said something yeah and then everybody said okay now that is like the way you have to live your life forever now yeah and then like i don't want to give it away but yeah. like the picture yeah they're like poking that fun was... yeah like they're yeah. they're they're put, putting a real mirror up at times at uh, the certain, cat yeah to certain aspects of India, like not Indian culture as a whole, but like certain regions and certain and things. toxic masculinity, toxic is a, masculinity, is a key, key is element. obviously a huge one. Um, where I think it maybe goes a little awry, in my opinion, is just at the end. I'm too much of a pessimist for what they decided to do. I'm not going to give it away. We'll get into that in spoils. Yeah, um, but I, he he probably liked it a little more than I, I always would like. He's yeah. more of an optimist than I. Am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would prefer everybody to die. <laughs> Rick might not. But I, I this is this is really uh, it covers some really important things. Um yeah, absolutely. and it presents it in a way that's palatable for everybody. Uh, you Same could way go, Mimi and, and Yeah, did. you could go on a date night for this and have a really deep discussion mm-hmm. about very important issues about women. And you could also go with your family and talk about some of the very first initial thoughts about how should men treat women? Yeah. Do you think women, beginning a conversation with the next generation of, of women's rights and, and the way things happen in culture. And funny enough, you thought this was going to be mostly about female infanticide. Right. I feel like that's almost a subplot. Yeah. I mean, obviously, get, without getting into it, it the overall is there. It right? carries through, but there's so much there's more to so this movie. There's so much more that they're trying to push uh, in terms of, like, um, a message that they're trying to get and across. And it could have been, been so maudlin. It could have been saccharine. It could have been so over-the-top or preachy. The writing and everything kept it even keeled. This this is like a boat that just stays exactly on course. It never gets off course. And you enjoy it. I, from... Opening frame to closing credits, I enjoyed every moment of the movie. Yeah, yep. so did I. Yep. It's uh, it's it's just a, it's a really fun ride, and I wish more people would actually yes. go to the theaters. Please and go see this. films like this. Um, and not just wait and or or say films like this don't deserve to be in movie theaters. I don't get it. I don't get I it don't either. Get it at all? Like you, you're, you, people cry all the time about wanting better content, not remakes. Then they don't support it. It's, right, right. <laughs> they wouldn't have supported Mimi. They didn't right. support But I Do. Right. They don't support this. Right. Like, it's just it's really it's frustrating. Really frustrating. And it's fine. You can like action films. I'm not saying don't. So go support no, KGF. No, support them. But RRR. Do what you want to do. Also go to this. Like, you, you, you can have both. <laughs> and truly, uh, I mean, I understand people who have the economics of needing to make a decision because they can only go to like one film a month. Yeah. I get that. This is a family one. But when... You're talking about, well, I could just watch it on TV because that's the easier accessibility. It minimizes the irreplaceable. We've talked about this over and over again. The irreplaceable experience, both for yourself in the visual aesthetic and the sound aesthetic of being fully immersed in a film. But you also lose the communal aspect, which we didn't get today. But most of the time you do. Even if you're watching a film with four people, when we first saw happening at the Landmark, Mm -hmm. there were only four other people in the theater with Andrani and I. Mm -hmm. But we shared the collective experience. We gasped at the same moments. We were moving in our chairs with comfortability in the same moments orgasmed and so, at the same time exactly yeah. we all had a communal <laughs> and so <laughs> please just see the yeah. movie please um so obviously that's under spoiler we're getting to some a little spoilers little here. spoiler uh, section um little spoilers but so go see the movie go see the movie come please back. and come back and support it right um so yeah the, the, the lot of lot of really really funny parts that i actually really wanted to talk about like the the 
the picture thing when they were looking for and her they couldn't, and they couldn't they find her couldn't because find her they face. make all these females <laughs> put stuff in front of their so, face so great which a, a great you know smack to the face uh for i obviously that's a i'm it's not obviously we know that's not a full on region thing but you can say that about multiple different aspects they, of different they did that cultural so things. many times mm-hmm. where they highlighted the absurdity of things that people the cat. live by yeah. mm-hmm. and did it in such a way that it really shows you is this not absurd if you don't see the absurdity of this what else can we do to help you see it mm-hmm. it it was the slapping of the guy who's completely passed out and she just can't great. stop slapping him. <laughs> I, oh. I feel like she was like the audience at that time. Yeah. Like she was like... <laughs> she was. Every, she's taking it out on, yep. all, the, on all these all men. All these toxic like, men. All of us want to do, just slap them. Yeah, over and over again. <laughs> and then he came up and he said, ah. <laughs> it's very, very funny. So funny. Um, but I also didn't... I had forgotten the moment in the trailer because it's in the trailer and I'm glad I forgot it when... He threatens to capture okay. himself. <laughs> I was thinking, is there ever been a film ever where I've seen a character who's threatening to castrate themselves in order to get out of a situation? And everybody's like, oh, no, no, no the air, <laughs> the air. We need another male. And that, again, highlights the absurdity. Yeah. Yeah. But it is also a great message um, when Renvir in the car was like, is she- is she not my heir? Exactly. What the fuck does a man have to do with, exactly. with an heir? Exactly. Why does the fact that he has a penis mean more? he's worth more than, than my daughter? And it's the s- fact that the woman is blamed for not giving the male when it is the male's mm. sperm yeah. who's determining gender. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, super, super frustrating. Some of the aspects that I... I didn't mind just because it's the world, like the utopian place where all these men are there to protect. I love that. It's ridiculous. I love it. I get it. it. And it it, 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 w- it fit with the what? world of the other ridiculousness of this other world of like, I'm banning soap. And, exactly. Which is why I didn't, I didn't care. But it's just like, <laughs> this is clearly not a real place. But you needed, <laughs> that, you needed that farcical idea of wouldn't it be nice if there really was a place yeah. Yeah. where all of the men valued women the way they should be valued. Yeah. I, I, I love the farcical and then, village. And then there's like a, a, a fight scene, right? Uh, at the end. And it really kind of goes <laughs> like off the rails <laughs> for a second. And once again, it's nothing. it was nothing like like that take takes you out of it not at all because it's it's not like it was like everything is hyper realism hyper realism not at hyper realism not to at that all. point and then then that changes so it it still fit the world it's just i would have preferred it to be a little different and i would have preferred everybody to leave in the end honestly <laughs> yeah because we both felt the same way it's like what what should we what you know really should we leave and i think we both out yeah. loud said uh yeah you really should get out of there or like what will happen to them and we yeah. were like Who we cares? don't care <laughs> yeah and i do not care when ranveer started to say i uh, had two thoughts simultaneously yeah. when ranveer starts to go into that saying of well these guys can change i thought oh this is this is so blindly naively optimistic yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, and Corbin <laughs> is very angry right now. <laughs> it, it's true. I was like, but they suck. Yeah. <laughs> Why These would... guys are never changing, bro. I do not believe people can change that drastically. Right, That's right. just my personal uh, But opinion. you still can hope. Uh, no. You can still hope. Absolutely not. But, are, uh, it's again, Ebenezer I... Scrooge does enjoy Christmas Day <laughs> and carries Tiny Tim. You can believe for it. <laughs> it was very that. That's it true. was very that. But obviously, I, I love the whole cutesy thing of their kiss. I like, love obviously that. Obviously, they haven't had a kiss this entire... And it was a great scene where Ranveer came to talk to all those women, which was a ridiculously sad scene. It was very sad. Not just Ranveer's... I'm talking like... No, the moment he, proceeding. He came out and he was like, okay, what is he about to see? Yeah. Um, and then you came and it was like, oh, this is awful. Yeah. This is where all these women have to come to silently support, silently support each other, and they don't like try to do anything. They don't try to give advice. They just they're there and they cry, which you know, men can take a lesson from. It um, really the, the analogy I'd give of this film in those moments, his monologue, which was beautifully, believably mm-hmm. brought and written so well, and the women come around him. I just the writing and the whole thing I thought was so well done. Yeah. Um. But it the analogy I have is like this is the li- you know the story of the little tugboat that's like I think I can I think I can I think I can all of these other behemoths that are the box office juggernauts are these giant just air force air plane carrying things right. 
And then there's a film like this that's just going by with this little flag. But I do did that too, the rainbow flag. Yeah. And these guys are carrying their little flag. And it's like, yeah, we're a little funny film, but we really believe the message. And if people talked about it, maybe we could start change like the movie itself is the little kiss mm -hmm. like like if people just allowed themselves to experience this little moment of this film especially younger people they might begin to understand wow all of these things are really wrong the way women are not protected by men but mm -hmm. they're controlled and and abused and for ridiculously stupid reasons mm -hmm. uh i just so it's it's the little film that do you could love, do you love that uh bengali, bengali i adored that and i want to know he shouted I, out the exact line I, that she said by yeah, the way i knew she was gonna say the i love you line what i want to know is because they <laughs> they said they only talk to each other in movie lines yeah and what i want to know what the movie line was she quoted when she's above him with the knife and yeah. she says like i am i am the power or something yeah. i Guarantee that's a famous movie line. Yeah, let us know yeah. uh, what that what that line is. But, yeah, I, but I thought the whole scene was hilarious. And this film, even though sometimes you can call these style of films predictable. Right. But you can call romantic comedies predictable. And it's it's like I knew yeah. I knew the mother was gonna change. Of course. I knew that. Yeah. I knew they were gonna be together in the end. Yep. I knew the father was probably going to have a turnaround moment at some point. Right. Or at least in the in a little way. Yeah. Um, but th these style of films, they're, they're strictly for, to one, entertain you. Right. This is a entertainer. It's just an film. entertainer. And to give you a message. Correct. This is, this is, this is not one that's trying to be like under Honda Hun and, and right. trick you and, and, oh, where's it going to go? Right. This is just like when Harry met Sally. You know when, ha spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> this has been around a while, so. You know they're going to get together in the end. Right. <laughs> It doesn't make it a bad film. Exactly. Um, it's just I see people like complain about that sometimes, like these style of films or like rom coms. It's what do a, you expect? Like I, I sure if it works in a rom com that it kind of, but that's not really the point of rom coms. No, it's, it's like it's like going to a, a fast food place and expecting them to serve you filet mignon. That's not what you go there for. <laughs> Uh, you, you you're expect, gonna get some good food. You're gonna get some food you're gonna really enjoy, but it's not gonna get five stars on yeah. the Food Network, you know. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not the place more people are going because they like it. Yeah. So, and I really appreciated. He reminded me of uh, what was the movie with Rithik where he played the teacher. It's a true story about uh, the Super teacher. Thirty. Super Thirty. I knew I was like a Super Deluxe Deluxe yeah, yeah, Thirty. Yeah. Um, where we pointed out he he toned down his dancing capacity. He did. Uh, I, Runveer had to oh, do it in this one too, big time, in a big, big way, and like did a great at, job at of toning the, that down. At the very end, the when, ending when Bowman is holding the the baby, <laughs> and, and Runveer in the next one was doing. I was like, I feel like he wakes up every morning exactly, and does that dance. Exactly, and then uh, that that really cool when he's doing the awkward little. He's I'm going to film the camera and I'm going to do the dance number. That dance number choreography was so like if you put that side by side with his entrance in Ram Lila, <laughs> doesn't even look like the same guy because the body movements are so different mm -hmm. because that character needed to be different so from yeah. start to finish i'm very very great job very happy with this film me too um it's we always say it we never go into a film wanting anything to be bad ever i what do i say every time i'm walking to the I car hope it's good yep every time i'm walking to the car with Corbin, i'm like please be good i hope it's good please be good <laughs> please be good i'm rooting for you man please be good well yeah and that's that's almost every film we go every to. film <laughs> why would you want it to be bad no you want because <laughs> you're sitting in one place for two to three hours yes I know. I love movies. I want the next one to really bring the art form down. <laughs> Just <laughs> bludgeon it so other people say movies are bad. I want to be discouraged and wonder where all the good movies are. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense to me. But anyways, let us know what you thought about the film, please. And if you're no still spoilers. if no you're spoilers. still here. I hope you aren't if you haven't seen the film. But if you're still here and you haven't seen the film, please just go support the film. Yeah, uh, and be nice to women. Before it hits OTT. Yeah. Let us know what you thought about the film down below.